Hey, I'm Russ Jones. Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. Today I had the pleasure and the honor of doing a collaboration video with Alla from Alla's Yummy Food. If you don't know who Alla is, I encourage you to check the links below where it says show more and click on her channel and check out what she does. She has been through culinary school. She is a, a, a chef, a certified chef, does outstanding work. Now what we're doing today at this collaboration is meat pies. Now meat pies are pretty much everywhere you go in the world and everybody has their own culture and their own flavors and such as that. So I'm sure what she's going to be doing for us is going to be a lot different than the one I got going on. So I'm anxious to see exactly what all goes into her meat pies. Now what I'm doing for you is I'm going to be doing something that's very popular down here. We're real close to Louisiana and this came straight out of Louisiana, out of Cajun land. Now, I'm talking about the crawfish pie. I'm going to be doing this two ways. I'm going to be doing a crawfish pie and a pie plate. And I'm also going to be doing kind of an empanada style where we're going to be deep frying these, these little pies. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alright, we're going to get started this crawfish pie. What I've got going in is two sticks of real butter. We're going to melt this down. Our butter is melted. I'm going in with about eight tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now what I'm doing is I'm creating a roux. Alright, just blend all that flour in until you get a smooth consistency just like I have here. Now we've got this over a medium, medium low heat. And what you want to do is constantly stir this. We're looking for some color. I'm going to actually cut the heat down just a tad more. You want it more on the low end because this stuff will start to brown on you. It can get out of control in a hurry. The last thing you want to do is burn it. If you burn it, you have to start all over. So I'm looking for more of a peanut butter color on this. I'm just going to continue to stir this. I'll bring you back when I reach the desired color. All right, we're looking about the color peanut butter. I'm going to hold it right here. Now when I do a gumbo, I go a lot darker than this. I usually go to the color of a Hershey's chocolate bar. Just at the brink of burning in it, but not burning. Now when you get it this color, you can definitely smell that nuttiness. Now to stop this cooking process, what you want to do is add in your vegetables. We're going to be adding in the Cajun Trinity. Starting with one whole white onion. This will stop the browning process because it, it just cooled it down. It cooled it way down. I've got one bell pepper going in. We're going to add in about a stalk and a half of celery. I want to just let this simmer in this roux for around three, four minutes until those onions begin to get clear, translucent, begin to get somewhat tender. All right, after a couple of minutes, go ahead and throw in your garlic. I've got about six cloves of fresh minced garlic going in. All right, this is the point where I like to season. Your vegetables need to be seasoned, the roux, everything needs to be seasoned. So I'm going in with some kosher salt, around a teaspoon. I'm using white pepper. White pepper goes very good with any kind of Louisiana dish. Around a teaspoon. About a half a teaspoon of thyme. This is powdered thyme. About a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Give all this a good mix. All right, I'm going to pour in about a three quarters of a cup of seafood stock. We're going to start with that. Now we got to get this back up to a simmer. This roux is obviously going to thicken this, and I'll just keep adding in the stock until I get it to the consistency I want. But meantime, I'm going to add in one bay leaf. Definitely need more stock. And you know, and it's not really an exact measurement thing, you just have to kind of know what to look for. Right now I've got probably almost two cups in here. Not quite, probably about a cup and a half. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good right there. Alright, we're going to bring this back to a simmer. 
I didn't capture it on video, but I just added in three quarters of a cup of half and half. You can also use heavy cream. I just happen to have half and half on hand. So that's what I went with. It's perfectly fine. We're going to let this reduce what you see here by half. We'll add the crawfish in at the very end because they're already cooked. All you got to do is just drop them in, stir them in, they're heat, you know, heat them through. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and make some rice while this is reducing. We'll be back. To save time on this video, because they do tend to run long with all these different steps, what I've done is I've added in 24 ounces of these cooked crawfish. These come in a plastic bag in their freezer department. If you go with these, fresh is always best, but uh, if you can find these frozen crawfish, make sure you go with the product of the USA. These are actually, here's a little packet they came in. These are Louisiana crawfish product of the USA. That's what you want. A lot of these packaging companies will make it look like Louisiana crawfish, but if you look hard enough, it's going to say product of China or Spain. Stay away from those. They are not the same. They do not have near the flavor. Also, I have in here around two cups of rice. That's just one of the things you just keep adding. I did scoop at a time until I thought I had the right consistency. I'm looking pretty good. It's nice and thick, and as it cools down, it'll continue to thicken. I'm going to turn my fire off. We're going to add in a little parsley and some green onion. And from here, we're just going to let this cool down. It will continue to thicken as it cools down, of course. If you want to make your own pie crust, by all means, make it. I took the easy way out. These are the store-bought. They just roll out. They're 9 inches in diameter. I'm using a glass pie dish underneath that. We're going to take our crawfish pie mixture, which is really nothing more but a crawfish etouffee with rice mixed in instead of served on top. Just going to fill this in. I think we're going to hold right there. I took one egg and beat it. Now I'm just going to go around this edge. We're going to lay our top on here. Take a knife and follow the edge of this dish. Cut these off even. Alright, I've got my oven preheating up to 350 degrees. Once you get it cut all the way around, just discard the leftovers. Take you a fork, come through here all the way around, and let's crimp this. I'm trying to create a tight seal. Now you want to start in the center, cut you a few slits, just like this. This is going to allow steam to escape as this cooks. Alright, I'm going to place this in a 350 degree oven. We're going to go roughly 40 to 50 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. When this gets good, golden brown, everything is nice and bubbly, we'll be ready. All right, so now I have some smaller pie shells. All I done was took the 9 inch, I pressed a bowl on it. I tore around the outside of the bowl. Voila, you got a small pie shell. All right, I'm going to take my egg wash. And I'm going to go all the way around this outer edge. Put some filling right in the center. I'm going to fold this over. Be careful not to overstuff. You got to have enough room to create a seal. Press them together with your fork. All right, all I'm waiting on is the oil to get up to 375 degrees. I'm going to drop the first one in. We're going to do these one at a time so we don't cool the oil down. Here we go. All right, our first one is done. We're just going to Pull this out on some paper towels. I take the drain. Let's drop in our other one. Well, that looks pretty good. I do say so myself. Just pull this out of the oven, man. This turned out really good. You can see it's still bubbling, steam coming out. If you ever make these, a good option is to get the little pie shells like the pot pies for individuals. Now, this will feed one full grown Cajun. So, <laughs> with that said, I could actually eat that all by myself, and I'm not Cajun. 
we're going to do a taste test on these. Okay, this big pie is entirely too hot right now. I'm just going to let that cool way down and the family can eat that. I'm going to go ahead and dig into one of these little one-man servings here. All right, just take a look in there. You can see the filling. All right, let's try this bad boy. Absolutely delicious. Man, I love these flavors. As I said earlier in the video, this is nothing more but crawfish etouffee made into a pie. The little ham pies, the big nine inch. You can also do these, like I said earlier, in the little pot pie sizes like you get for individuals. Unless you're Cajun and that nine inch will do you just fine. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you give this one a try. If you have a hard time trying to find the frozen crawfish, you can get them online. There's a few places, just Google uh, Louisiana crawfish and they'll ship them right to your door. Until next time, smoke your ribs.